so hello everyone so in the last session we have solved few problems related to the type 1 type 2 systems related to the positional velocity and acceleration error co constant coefficients so we are going to continue with two more important problems so this is the third problem that is for a unity feedback system the open loop transfer function is given as uh, g of s is equal to 10 into s plus 2 divided by s square into s plus 1 since the the they mentioned it as unity feedback system so we have only considered the g of s since h of s is equal to 1 so here uh, we need to find the values of kp kv and ka and also we need to find the steady state error when the input r of s is given as 3 by s minus 2 by s square plus 1 by 3 s cube okay so this problem is similar to the problem which was solved at the last session the last problem here the, there is a slight change in the transfer function as well as the out input so in the last time they have given the input in, in case of a time domain here they have given in case of s domain okay this is again also the combination of step ramp and parabola all three of them though there are few slight changes but the problem remains the same so now let's solve it quickly okay first write the transfer function open transfer function that is g of s into h of s is equal to 10 into s plus 2 divided by s square into s plus 1 okay so we need to arrange it in the general form okay that is taking this 2 outside that is it will be 10 to the 20 into 1 by 1 plus s by 2 right divided by s square and taking this 1 outside so it remains s square only 1 plus s okay so this is the way the general form the transfer function is written okay so now one by one let's find all the values of kp kv and ka so first thing kp the formula is limit s tending to 0 g of s into h of s okay so kp is equal to limit s tending to 0 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s square into 1 plus s so kp is equal to apply the limit so 20 into 1 plus 0 by 2 is 0 divided by s s square so 0 into 1 plus 0 so our final value we are getting it as 20 divided by 0 is again anything number divided by 0 is infinity so kp is equal to infinity so quickly let's find kv the formula for kv is limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s so kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 20s into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s square into 1 plus s so 1s would be getting cancelled so kv is equal to limit s tending to 0 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by s into 1 plus s so kv is equal to apply the limits 20 into 1 plus so 0 by 2 is 0 and 0 into 1 plus 0 so again we are getting 20 by 0 that is again infinity okay so similarly find the value of uh, ka limit s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s so ka is equal to limit s tending to 0 20 s square 1 plus s by 2 divided by s square into 1 plus s so s square s square gets cancelled so ka is equal to directly apply the limits so okay let's write that step 20 into 1 plus s by 2 divided by 1 plus s so ka is equal to 20 into 1 plus 0 by 2 is 0 divided by 1 plus 0 that is equal to 20 by 1 so our final value of ka we are getting it as 20 so these are the values of kp kv and ka respectively okay so now let's find the second case that is steady state error when the input provided is r of s is equal to 3 by s minus 2 by s square plus 1 by 3 s cube okay so again in this case we can see that this is the combination of step ramp and parabola but here in this case it's in the s domain so in s domain uh, step signal is represented as a by s ramp signal is represented as a by s square and parabolic signal is represented as a by s cube so similarly here 
for step signal the value of a is equal to in place of a what we have here 3 so a is equal to 3 for amp signal in place of a what we are having minus 2 so in place of a parabolic signal the value of a is equal to 1 by 3 s cube so 1 by 3 ok so these are the values of the amplitudes ok so now 1 by 1 let's we need to be finding the steady state errors for all the signals for step signal ESS1 is equal to A divided by 1 plus KP A is 3 divided by 1 plus infinity so it is equal to 3 by infinity it is equal to 0 ok similarly for ramp ESS2 is equal to A divided by KB that is minus 2 divided by infinity that is again 0 KB is infinity right for parabola ESS3 is equal to A divided by KA ok that is 1 by 3 divided by 20 right so that is 1 by 60 so these are the values of uh, ESS1, 2 and 3 so after the addition of these three total ESS is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1 by 60 so our uh, total steady state error we are getting it as 1 by 60 ok so yeah this is the solution for this nothing much changed but only in this problem the change here is in place of uh, time domain they have represented it in the Laplace domain or the frequency the H domain ok so this was the problem so please uh, try to solve this very simple problem so let's get to the next question so this is the next question here the question is did we need to determine the value of k for a control system with open loop transfer function they have given it as k into s plus 5 divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 10 which produces 30 percent of steady state error with unit ramp input okay so this is a bit tricky problem yet very important problem okay so yeah what we need to do is first uh, thing is in these kind of uh, problems first write the given data okay in order to avoid confusion write the given data since they have given the open transfer function write that first k into s plus 5 divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 10 so what and all are given 30 percent of steady state error is given okay 30 percent means ess is equal to 30 percent okay so after uh, in order to convert percentage into number we know that we need to divide it by 100 so our uh, steady state error we are getting it as 0 0.3 okay this is the steady state error which you are getting okay and also from this uh, equation try to simplify this uh, reduce it to the general form first okay that is k into so take this phi out so, so this would be phi k into 1 plus s by 5 right divided by 2 and 10 you should take outside so it would be 2 tens are 20 s into 1 plus s by 2 into 1 plus s by 10 right so phi 1s are phi 4s are so our final g of s into h of s is equal to k into 1 plus s by 5 divided by 4s into 1 plus s by 2 into 1 plus s by 10 right so here uh, first try to find out the types uh, which type of system it is okay first of all why because uh, in the other data they have given it as 30 percent of steady state error with unit ramp input okay they have mentioned it as unit ramp input okay so in order to find out the value of k and the data given is steady state error along with that we need to be having either kp kv or k right but uh, 
in order to decide whether we need to be taking KP, KV or KV, first you need to be checking which type of system it is. So, the C here the power of S, S to the power J, right? So, in, in the place of J, what is there? 1, right? S to the power 1. So, the system here is type 1 system, okay? So, since the system is type 1, we need to be taking the velocity error coefficient KV, right? In case of type 1 system. And also the unit, uh, the signal given is unit ramp input. So since it is ramp, the uh, K, we need to be considering the value of KV and also the steady state error, we need to be writing it as A by KV. Okay, since the it is of type 1 system, so we need to be writing A by KV. So now we need to be write as write, uh, write the value of KV, okay? Write the formula for KV that is limit as tending to 0, S into G of S into H of S, okay? So KV is equal to limit as tending to 0, SK into 1 plus S by 5 divided by 4s into 1 plus s by 2 into 1 plus s by 10 okay so here we can cancel s and s so the remaining kv is equal to limit s 10 to 0 k into 1 plus s by 5 divided by 4 into 1 plus s by 2 1 plus s by 10 so kv is equal to substitute the limit that is k into 1 plus 0 by 5 is 0 4 into 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0 that is equal to k divided by 4. So our final value of kv which we are getting is k by 4. Okay. So now nothing much to do. The given data, they have given the steady state error. We have found the value of kv. So now apply the formula ESS is equal to a by kv. Okay. They have given the uh, kv, they have given steady state error they are given and the value of A is mentioned in the question only right if you observe carefully unit ramp input so the value of A is equal to 1 since it's a unit ramp input so ESS is equal to 1 by KV okay so ESS is 0 0.3 is equal to 1 divided by K by 4 so that would be 0 0.3 is equal to Four by k, so 0 0.3 multiply this k to other side. K is equal to four, so k is equal to four divided by 0 0.3. Okay, so after simplification, the value we are getting it is 13.33. So in this way, we need to be finding the value of k in this solution. Okay, so please observe the problem very carefully. This is a very important problem. So analyze the steps very carefully and uh, try to solve this. Okay, so that's all for this session. So, hope you followed this. We have discussed two problems. Also, refer our previous videos of all the concepts which we have discussed in order to make you clear about the this module. So, we are at the end of this module. We are uh, uh, doing some of the derivations in the next uh, few sessions and after that, uh, we are going to wind up this module. Also, if you want to refer the solutions for model question papers okay it is available in our playlists so please go to our playlist it's, it would be appear, appearing in the right of your screen right now okay see here we have created the playlists for you guys all the model question paper solutions are there please go through them and solve all the questions okay and uh, ref, try to solve it without seeing once first refer it then try to solve it without seeing okay please refer it and share it to a huge number and uh, comment down your opinions okay and please spread this channel to a huge number. Please comment down your opinions. Please like, share, subscribe. Okay? That's all. Thank you.